What's up A-listers? Welcome to a new series of uh, map editing or how to map editing. Uh, today we're going to cover SOBJLs and SOBJs and then the prerequisites that you'll need to mod this game. Uh, I recommend you getting Hello World Overlay. Uh, as you can see on the bottom it has the player coordinates that you're going to need to for you to spawn you know SOBJ items. Uh, next thing you're going to need is the 010 editor which is right here. You're also going to need the chunk tool to extract your um, your Monster Hunter World PC files and you're going to need to create a new native uh, PC. <clears throat> so for this instance we're going to create or we're going to add an NPC to Astera. Uh, that's part of the gathering hub. So I'm going to create a new stage folder and then you want to know what IDs the stages are. The one that we're going to edit or modify is ST301. We're going to add a common folder. And then we're going to add a set folder. And then you can see on the right hand side, we have the same thing over here. We want to copy over this SOBJL. Boom. And this is the one that we want to edit. So. We want to put it on our editor. We're going to add a new file. We're going to call it st301 npcs.sobj. Cool. And now that we have that, we're going to add it to our editor. All right. And then on here, we're going to add a fourth entry because we have three entries. We're going to copy this this last struck. And you can see here I added it on there. We're going to change the index. I'm going to make it three. The load order doesn't really matter. Negative one just means load, it, load beforehand. Um, and then we're going to change this. I'm going to change it here first, but it probably won't save it. So it's missing the S. So I'll add the S. And be sure to add the ending null terminator. Cool. So now you can see we have our new struct. We're going to save this. And now we're going to add in our NPCs. Uh, I'm going to copy over the header from here. Oh, it's already on hex. Perfect. And then I want to copy over the hub last NPC. Um, she's the the Asian looking girl one. Um, the what is the name? Provisions hub. Cool. So I'm gonna copy this one over. Copy. I'm gonna paste it here. And now you can see. She's on here. We're going to change the spawn parameter. So if we look at in-game, I'm going to be right here, or I'm going to have her right here. And you can see on the bottom left-hand corner the coordinates. So we want to change these to be 5731, 1782, minus 1832. We'll save that. We'll go back into the game. And then we're going to load the gathering hub. Go back into Astera. Hopefully everything's fine. Cool. All right, she's there. And as you can see, we can talk to her. She's a, she's normal. We can buy stuff. Um, NPCs that are outside of you know the research base, Astera, the gathering hub, um, especially like the hub provisions. She's 
she's not going to be able to sell you stuff. It's going to freeze your game um, until we figure out how we can implement those features, uh, like in Ancient Forest and all the other, all those other stages. I wouldn't recommend doing it. I mean, unless you want to explore, it's up to you. Uh, going back to our editor here, if we look on the bottom, there's more NPC setter data. And we go right here to the close-up bool. Uh, right now it's set to zero and there's no coordinates. So we're going to go ahead and add these coordinates, or add close-up bool. We just want to see what it looks like or what it does. And we're going to leave load to the gathering hub real quick. Alright, so now we're here, right? Go ahead and go back, because we saved our <clears throat> our file. And if we talk to her, you can see that we're underwater. <laughs> uh, and that's because we didn't set any coordinates at all. So what we want to do is we want to go back and go talk to her once we come back and teleport. Yeah. All right, now we're here. So let's say I want to talk. When I talk to her, I want to be right here. So what I want to do is I want to grab my player coordinates on the bottom left hand side. I want to go to the close up bull here, and I want to change these coordinates here. So five eight six zero seventeen eighty two. 1960. Okay, cool. So we'll save that. We'll load back our game. Yeah. And then we'll go back. And so now when I talk to her, I should be behind her, right? Because that's where I set, or that's where I saved the coordinates. Hey. Yep. Well, it's not exactly how I wanted it. But I am behind her. So if I talk to her again, I should be right here, right? I'm going to talk to her from here. <laughs> yep. Let me talk to her right here. Yep. Same. Well, I'm in the same spot, but the, the visual is different, which is kind of cool if you want to keep in mind. When when the visual happens, Hi. it, let's see, you can change the rotation of the visual and it's, and it's there. You just have to play around with it. So how you want to talk to the NPC, how you want the camera to face, it's the player position and then the camera of the rotation. So... Have fun playing with that. That's always fun. Um, so just a little recap. When you are going to make an SOBJ mod or a map editing mod for gimmicks, because they're set files, not just for gimmicks, sorry, just for any SOBJ, you want to create a new SOBJ file. And you want to bring over the dependency or the, the list that's actually called in the file. That way, if there are other people who create you know, SOBJ mods, um, the person who downloads the mod can either you know add it to the SOBJL or the mod author can include your mod or you can include their mod with the SOBJL. Uh, just don't bring in their files. Just just update the SOBJL file if you want to make people's lives easier. But um anyway that concludes for this uh, this video. Um, you know stay tuned for the next one. If you have any questions, comments you can leave them down on the comments below, or you can join the Monster Hunter World uh, modding Discord, and I'll leave a link to that below. Catch you next time.